Well, to speak more on this development, legal expert and political commentator Evans Feli joins me now. As always, thank you very much for your time. Now, the use of beavers has been a source of concern for many Nigerians uh, who believe it feels as technology uh, does sometimes. But as a solution, the INEC chairman has said uh, mock accreditation uh, will be carried out across selected polling units to ascertain the integrity of the beavers before the main elections begin in February. Are you optimistic that this strategy will work? Yes, I am optimistic. I, I, I believe that um, the beaver should be properly tested before the coming elections. Uh, even though it has been used in some of the staggered elections we've had in the past, uh, I still believe that uh, proper testing uh, should be done, given that this election uh, is going to be a turning point in the history of our country and uh, is going to set a standard for the whole of Africa and the world at large. Uh, I think that um, uh, the issue of uh, identification of voters is very, very crucial uh, in election and electioneering. So um, uh, through the beavers, uh, one will come to terms that the registered voter is actually the one voting, okay, so that um, issues of uh, false identity uh, can be completely eliminated. So it's a good one for us to have... Um, a trial, a pre-trial, uh, a pilot scheme, and then before the proper election, this will go a long way to make the process uh, clean. It will determine the integrity of the process because um, in our clan here, politicians have a way of coming up with um, schemes to undermine the integrity of the process. Uh, and that should not be seen in the coming election because uh, if that is done, it will lead to a lot of issues of litigation and all that. And it will throw a lot of dust up there that will mar the election. So uh, what INEC is doing, you know, what INEC says it's going to do is the best uh, in the interest of the public and the interest of our nation. Let them do a proper pre trial before the election commences. Now, on the diaspora voting policy, uh, which the INEC chairman has assured is pending legal provisions, how significant will this policy be on the outcome of future elections in Nigeria? Well, diaspora voting is important. I mean, uh, uh, the fact that a citizen of Nigeria is outside Nigeria does not, his citizenship does not cease. So if his citizenship ennails, uh, there's no point discriminating them. So uh, let's get the legal issues right. The right bills should be passed to that effect. Um, uh, the constitution will determine that uh, the INEC uh, Act uh, should be amended to that effect to include diaspora voting because the truth is that over the years we have come to see that the, the, the uh, nigerians in diaspora contribute uh, a huge uh, chunk of our economy um they also contribute a lot to uh, issues back home here um, so it is important that their voices are heard too because um we, we see how they follow issues back home here wherever they are all over the world uh, they are following issues on politics, on the economy, on the general well-being of a Nigerian state. Uh, once a Nigerian, is always a Nigerian. So uh, the right legislation is what is required to open the floodgate for them uh, to participate. Uh, since if, if you look at even uh, Nigerians in diaspora, most of them have centers where they do uh, the, the name, okay, where they, they have this, um, they've come to terms with the ad identification. So... If, if we have that, uh, nothing stops us from uh, taking uh, INEC uh, registration to that, to all the countries we have over, o, o, over the world, where Nigerians are. Have them register, let them participate in the political processes, uh, um, exercise their civic responsibility in, in, their, in their country of origin. It is a critical thing. I mean, uh, it is long overdue. You cannot call them citizens who contribute to your economy and not give them chance uh, to, to have their voices heard uh, in, in uh, the political scene in the country. I think uh, the agitation that they be included is very, very critical, and it, it is time for that to happen. But definitely it's a, a legal policy, and we just have to wait and see how that uh, turns out. Uh, but legal expert and uh, political commentator, Evan Sefeli, thank you very much for speaking with us.